I'm Scott Schull, and I'm an uh, interdisciplinary artist from Seattle. Cecilia Bitson, climate scientist at University of Washington. And um, how did you guys come to collaborate on this initially? Uh, we were well, we were paired up. Actually, I've just found out that Cecilia selected me because she, I was working with textiles, and she likes textiles. I didn't know about that. I did a small project once before involving science and art, and it was really intriguing to me to attempt to communicate science through art. And how did great? And how did it, how did you find it as an artist working with a scientist? Um, I've worked with I've worked with archaeologists before on projects, and uh, and actually actually really early when I was getting into artwork, it was one of the first. That was actually my first fellowship that I received was working with an archaeologist. And so I knew I was I knew I was gonna like this. I, did, I wasn't even worried about it. And um, the most interesting thing is that you know I found out that my scientist had some pretty good embroidery chops and was actually able to I mean she's as I've taught some beadwork classes, and Cecilia was as natural at doing beadwork as anybody I've worked with. It was really kind of fun because I could just turn stuff over to her and get it back later. Yeah, this is great. So, uh, tell me a little about the actual artwork here. So the anorak? Yes. Okay. Um, that's a that's actually an old idea I've had for a while. I've always wanted to, I wanted to do this with my archaeologist friend. This make something that you could wear. I never got around to it, so I ended up working with Cecilia, and now I had a scientist I actually could make a piece of clothing for her to wear. So the anorak fits Cecilia, and it was custom sewn to, you know, to fit her. And then the idea is to sew her work and stuff related to her work on an anorak that fits her. So she ends up, she ends up wearing her science on, you know, on her, you know, she wears her work on her sleeve. Which is what scientists do. They hang it all out there. They're up for peer review constantly. They're the science isn't there until someone's had a chance to take a shot at it. And so putting it on the outside of a garment that she can actually wear is what that's all about. Cool, huh? And how did you find the experience? Oh, uh, very exciting to see it come together. And I was really excited about seeing an expression of the complexity of the research that I do, and uh, yet in a way that was really easy to interpret and communicate. Um, you know, so people could look at it and just get it kind of way, and I, and I see that happening. Like, friends come by and say, oh, I, you know, I, I see that you're trying to express climate change in this piece, and uh, what's happening in the Arctic right now? Yeah, I involved Cecilia in all the in the artistic decisions. You know, when we got to kind of key points, we would discuss this. You know, I remember asking you. You know, I, I remember telling you first, I says, "Make sure I don't mess with your integrity on the work. You know, this is about science, and we have to be sure that nothing goes on here that you're not happy with." But I also, um, you know, I asked her one point. I said, "What do you really want to communicate to people?" She said, "Complexity." It's like, oh, that's easy. So, you know, I mean, you can just go into your papers and take equations and graphs, and we've got complexity. There, we've got stuff people are never going to understand without an explanation. It's really easy to get. You know, that wasn't hard. It's fun. To, it's fun that that's what she wanted. Okay, people are fearful of equations, but somehow in a piece of art, it's, it, it's fitting. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a universe. Great. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you.